I'm sure plenty of you have visited University Point and of course went into Seedvig's Hall. It's the only way to get Campbell's password in order to get to his lab in the Credit Union. However, that's not what we're looking at today. In fact, we're exploring the rear part of the hall that's kind of fallen into the ocean. Or the ocean's reclaimed it. One way or another, uh, that statement is true. The vault tech lunchbox and a wee first aid kit is just the beginning. For you see, when you actually try to enter the hall, you have two options. Also, I love the boat, and I'm wondering whether it was like a wee escape option for the residents of University Point. Obviously didn't really work out that well. But yeah, from here we can go into the hall. But we're going to explore that in the next video. Instead, we're going to get Sigvig's treasure, his safe at the back here. I say treasure. It uh, has a sleeping bag and an expert lock safe. I'm going to unlock it because I sadly have no more bobby pins. This series took an awful lot of bobby pins in the beginning. Uh, automatic laser pistol, not bad. So yeah, you can find a pretty a good amount of items when you're here. Now, there's a lot of mire lurks, so uh, obviously uh, keep that in mind. And uh, all the eggs hatching are gonna... Yeah, it's a few critters you'll have to deal with. Uh, the mother mightn't be that far away either, so always keep that in mind. Get away, Institute Birds. We will use Limitless to sort you. Wow. Literally sent it into oblivion. Awesome. All right. Well, that's Seavig's treasure. We're going to enter probably from this point. Be a cool wee way to get in and uh, see what we can find inside the hall. See you then. Thank you for watching.